Hello, my name is Hayley and today I'm going to be doing a book review of Midnight Alley, the third book in the Morgan Film Vampire series by Rachel Kane. To start off, I'm just going to say that I probably from now on in the reviews for this series will be including spoilers. Claire is now under Amelie's protection and this means that she finds out that she has to do whatever Amelie says, including becoming a student of a very old, very hectic vampire by the name of Mianen, and she learns something very big about the vampires and their plight. The minor plot to this is that Jason, Eve's brother, is back and his role intermingles with Captain Obvious who runs a newspaper and is very anti-vampire and has something against Michael. I mean how you could have something against Michael, I do not know. <laughs> so now I'm going to talk about characters and of course we can't do this without talking about Claire. <sighs> Claire is one of those characters who is super smart but she never really shows it. <laughs> I understand that a lot of smart people don't really have much common sense. That's kind of just a fact that we know. But <sighs> the situations she puts herself into are just mind-blowingly dumb. How does she not know that she's in danger or that she's, you know, shouldn't be there? She shouldn't be doing what she's doing, but she does it anyway. However, she does have a kind of very kick-ass moment where she unties one of her hands and then smacks someone with a chair. It's pretty epic. And then we have Shane, Claire's love interest, and all throughout this book, I was like, shut up, Shane. Just go away. <laughs> he was so endearing in the first book. And in the second book, I just, my heart, I felt so bad for him. I just wanted to hug him. And then in this book, I just wanted to smack him. This is a spoiler so, spoiler, <laughs> Shane gets stabbed by Jason and I didn't care, like I was just like, oh, okay, <laughs> like, he was just being so annoying because Michael turned into a vampire, that was literally the only thing that Shane just Michael is a literal angel. He just wants everyone to be safe. He he just wants to play music. It's all he wants to do, but no. And I just was like, Shane, he's your best friend. He can now go outside. That's great for him. He's been stuck in that house. He doesn't have to go through the agonising pain. Michael can actually protect his family, which is what they are. And I just, I don't know, I just couldn't get my head around it. I understand that Shane hates the vampires because of what they did to his mum, what they kind of have done to his dad, but Michael hasn't done anything wrong. Nothing. And I don't understand how Shane couldn't see that for the majority of this book. And their relationship, Claire and Shane's, it was very insta in the first couple of books, but it was kind of nice. It was kind of cute. But in this book, I was just put off by it. I just, I just didn't like it. There was something about how they interacted within this book that I just felt that Shane wasn't the right person for Claire and I don't know if that was because Shane was acting out of character that yes he's generally rather grumpy but he kind of lost his playfulness in this book and I think that's kind of 
what I enjoyed about their relationship and hopefully it gets better but I don't really care about that relationship. Eve and Michaels on the other hand they are adorable and I want them to be happy. <laughs> and we meet a new character in this book. Oh Mianan, I love Mianan so much. Okay he's a super old vampire and he's just sporadic in his character. It's so wonderful. He's so intriguing. He's very broken. He is fighting his animal instincts of a vampire, but, you know, he lets himself go sometimes, and sometimes obviously that's not his fault because, spoiler alert, vampires are going crazy, basically. They are losing their minds, they are losing control, and no one knows why. No one knows about it. Only Amelie and Mianan, and obviously Claire now, know that this is happening to the vampires. Amelie doesn't want to let anyone else know so that the vampires don't just go, we're all going to go crazy and die. And why should we just live in this little town? Why shouldn't we just, you know, go wild before our doom. And Mianan has the task of trying to make a cure and he has had several assistants. All of them have come to an end because of Mianan. <laughs> There's something about his character which is so interesting and lovable even though he's dangerous and tries to kill Claire quite a few times, he's still endearing and heartbreakingly broken and it's just, he wears bunny slippers, bunny slippers. And of course then we have Amelie who in this book I thought was quite interesting, I love the dynamic of Amelie, she's basically the queen of the vampires and she is wonderful. I don't care what anyone says, Amelie is one of my favourite characters because she is so grey that it is wonderful. She wants to keep her kind, her race safe and she wants to protect them. She wants to do what's right for her people. She may not make the decisions that Claire would agree with but that sometimes what a ruler has to do and I love her, she's elegant, she's just, I love her. <laughs> this section is going to be super spoily. I thought the whole entire plot of the disease was super interesting. I was not expecting that from the first two books but I really enjoyed the inclusion of that especially as it brings this sort of urgency to the vampires and Amelie's actions so I'm really interested in what she does next and obviously I want more men in. I did feel that this was more of a bridge book, that it kind of had the second book effect on me, where, I mean, a lot of stuff happens, but not much happens, if that makes sense. But I am really interested in the next book, because we meet a certain man right at the end, named Bishop, who is Amelie's father, and I was just like, ooh, this is going to be interesting because that means we learn more about Amelie and I love Amelie so more Amelie would be great. Okay, so the writing style was pretty much the same as before. I, I'm not really a fan of the writing style. It's very quick and easy to read but sometimes it is a bit did she really say that kind of thing although it is getting a little bit better there are some things that I don't really like in this because there's this one scene where Claire has gone through quite a traumatic event and she says or she thinks that crying would be stupid right now and I'm just like no crying would be perfectly valid right now. You, not crying, 
is kind of weird, in my opinion, because I would have been crying as soon as I got in that car. I would, like... I think that Claire is definitely one of those characters in Young Adult who thinks that you can't be smart, heroic, or strong if you're a girly girl. And to be honest, the other girls in this aren't exactly, you know, helping that. Because Monica is insane. She needs medical help. Just saying. And... Jennifer isn't that much better. She's shown as this weak, imitating person who has no personality of her own. And none of the other girls in Monica's crew had any personality. Eve has personality because she's the main character. She's one of the main characters. She is strong because of the things that she's gone through. She is strong because she is a good guy. And, you know, I have a bit of an issue with that. In conclusion, I gave Midnight Alley three stars. It was okay. I'm starting to not care about the protagonist, which is kind of not great. But, you know, there is a lot more to this book than Claire. And I'm kind of happy for that, otherwise I would not have continued. Especially as I don't understand... How Claire is still alive. I mean, the amount of stupid stuff that she does, the amount of stupid situations that she gets herself in. How is she alive? So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this book review and if you liked it, give it a like if you want and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day and um,